wife doesn't believe I am a financial genius. Do you have the same problem and do you have to do the same shit? <laughs> Good day fellow investors and welcome to the stock market investing vlog episode number two. As you have seen, my wife makes me do certain things that are not related to investing and not something that Buffett or other financial geniuses would do. Apart from the jokes, I want to discuss today time. How much is time important for investing? How much research you can do? And how much can you invest in your knowledge? I really believe that the more knowledge you have, the lower is your investing risk. I have resigned from teaching. I'm now a full-time investor, full-time researcher, and I am ready to do this for the rest of my life because it's really my passion. However, many of you don't have that luxury or didn't work towards that. You don't want to be a full-time stock analyst, researcher or whatever. And then I really want to discuss in this video and in the threads below comments, how much time do you have to do research? Apart from the babysitting that I do every morning and apart from here and there drilling some holes or painting something in the house because calling somebody to do it then until you're explaining I lose even more time. I am totally focused on researching, 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 writing about investing, uh, reading about learning, improving my own investing, my own mindset. So I really have time and I really can, if I find the stock, I can sit down and in the next day it's researched and I know whether it's a good or bad investment. However, if you have a job, I also think that you can be a good investor. However, you have to be very, very disciplined. You have to A, invest time to learn about investing. The best way for a part-timer, I think, is to be a value investor. If your criteria, value criteria, with the margin of safety are met, then you invest. If you don't, you just keep there in cash, enjoy your life and do nothing. And if you have that discipline, I really think everybody can be a great investor and reap great rewards from investing for the rest of his financial life. Going about trading, doing things that you don't understand because you lack the time is very, very risky, especially in these euphoric, irrational markets. So I'm really looking forward to your comments because I want to learn from you. I want to see how the market breeds. I hope I'm giving value by sharing my research and saving you a lot of time. As it is value investing, I really think there can be some gems and even people that have 10, 15 minutes a day to dedicate to investing, but are willing to read a few books to understand how it works. And especially when you invest in a business, not in a stock, you can really do good. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this. I still have a few holes to drill, but this will not lower the quality or the research of this YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.